Okay. In the previous videos, we have seen how mathematics and time are linked. The Fibonacci sequence is creating a perpetual clock that recycles into infinity. You must watch all the previous videos in the series, but especially the first two episodes. In episode 10, I went so far as to suggest that mathematics and time are in fact the same thing. I said that the universe is created using time and mathematics. I am ultimately suggesting that the universe is a matrix. The crux of my argument is that the universe does not physically exist anywhere in space but is only a matrix constructed using mathematics and sacred geometry. In this video, I want to explore this relationship between time and mathematics in more detail and make another profound revelation. In basic everyday mathematics, we have numbers. We normally start counting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on into infinity. But how does one whole number move to the next whole number? I can break the space between each whole number down into infinite parts. For example, between the numbers 1 and 2, I can count 1.99999 adding decimal places into infinity and never reach the number 2. So how does the number 1 magically become the number 2? To move forward, we have to take a quantum leap. We have to zap from 1 to 2 at the speed of light. This is of course exactly the same with time. How does 1 second become 2 seconds? I can break 1 second down into smaller and smaller parts exactly as in the previous example with numbers. I can have 1 billionth of a second or even 1 trillion nanoseconds and so on into infinity without ever reaching 2 seconds. So how does time move forward? Once again, it has to take a quantum jump at the speed of light. When physicists study electrons on a quantum level, they find that electrons magically move from one point in space to another point without actually traveling across the space separating the points. The electrons simply vanish out of existence and appear at the new point in space as if by magic. They call this phenomenon quantum tunneling. The theory is that the electrons are traveling down an infinitely small black hole and reappearing at the new point in space without traveling across the space. I don't want to go off on a tangent on quantum physics, but you must try and read up on this stuff. It's truly fascinating, even though I don't agree with their conclusions. String theorists would say that all matter is vibrating in and out of reality. I am going to do a separate video on the theoretical structure of an atom at some point, but for now I need to mention that the traditional idea of an atom has changed dramatically over time. Scientists used to think of an atom as having a nucleus consisting of protons and neutrons, while the electrons spin around the nucleus in a fixed orbit. Today, it is theorized that the electrons don't spin around the nucleus, but rather that they exist in a probability cloud around the nucleus. Thus, you can never predict the exact position of an electron. The electron can exist at any point around the nucleus at the same time. It is essentially at all points simultaneously and exists only as a probability cloud. The electron jumps or quantum tunnels through space. You may not grasp why I am drawing parallels between electrons and numbers right now, but please bear with me and take note of this comparison. For now, exactly like electrons, our numbers and seconds magically jump from 1 to 2 to 3 and so forth into infinity. We have another term for this phenomenon other than quantum tunneling. When something can magically move from one point in space to another point in space without passing any time, we call it the speed of light. We've all seen the sci-fi movies. If you can hypothetically move at the speed of light, you can essentially freeze time and then you can be in two places at the same instant like Superman or The Flash. 
I therefore conclude that numbers and time move at the speed of light. They are not tunneling through infinitesimal black holes. I am saying that time moves at the speed of light. Does this make scientific or logical sense? Yes, it does. If you ask physicists how old the universe is, they will tell you it is approximately 13.75 billion years old. They know this because they study the light from the early universe and that light has taken 13.75 billion years to reach us. So light and time are definitely linked. They are moving at the same speed. One light year is how far light will travel in one year of time. Time is unfolding at the speed of light. I have already stated that I think time and mathematics are the same thing. I have shown you how the Fibonacci sequence and mathematics create a perfect clock. Now I will make another astounding observation. If time is unfolding at the speed of light, and time and mathematics are the same thing, then mathematics and light must also be the same thing. This is basic logic. If A equals B and B equals C, then A must equal C. Do you understand what I am saying? Light, mathematics and time are all the same thing or at the very least they are all behaving the same way. Light is copying mathematics, so light is behaving intelligently. What do religions say about God? They say God is the light and God created everything. We know light is electromagnetic and we know light is energy. We also know that all mass is made up of energy as per Einstein's E equal mc squared. The universe is created out of energy or light. Now I have proved by logical deduction that light which is energy is intelligent or behaving intelligently. I have linked light to mathematics using time and sacred geometry. God is the light and light is intelligent. The energy that is creating the universe is using mathematics. Light, mathematics and time are all the same thing or part of the same thing. In previous videos, when I say the universe is created using time, light or mathematics, I am really talking about either one of the three. Do you know what light is? Light is really just information. When a photon strikes an object, it radiates the information from that object to your brain. Light carries information. Have you heard of fiber optics? Fiber optics uses light to carry information. And what is mathematics? Mathematics is information. Light radiates in a circle. Time moves in a circle and, as I have shown, mathematics is creating perpetual cycles of 60 numbers. The three are all behaving the same or are in fact the same thing. The universe is a matrix composed of light. I already have all the scientific evidence and data I need to prove that I am right and I will share this with you in future videos. But there is more than science at work here and I want you to understand and appreciate all of this. Don't miss my next videos and watch the older ones once again. And please share these videos. If you can afford it, please buy my book. I will use the proceeds from the book to get this message to more people. Thank you for your time.